Hi everyone, I'm Lynette Cook, Executive Director of ARNOVA, and I'm delighted to share with you a brief conversation with Pierre Rogers, President of the ARNOVA Board of Directors. Pierre? Thanks, Lynette. I know that many of you still have questions about this year's ARNOVA conference, including the reasoning behind our decisions, as well as how the three formats of in-person, hybrid, and virtual will work. The message that I sent a few days ago was intended to acknowledge some of these things. And I thought talking with you face-to-face, -face, albeit virtually, would also help. So Pierre, let's break this down. Why did the Arnova board make the decisions that it did? And what are all of the formats available in this year's conference? So in thinking about this year's conference, we considered all sorts of factors. We looked at federal, state, city, local public health guidance. We spoke with friends and colleagues about other conferences also. We talked to the hotel, we obtained legal counsel. We know there are legitimate concerns about whether it is responsible to hold any in-person large gatherings at this time. On the other hand, we've come to the point of believing that learning how we can gather safely is really necessary. Much like universities have resumed in-person classes, offices have resumed in-person work hours. ARNOVA is carefully but optimistically resuming our platform of networking and collaboration while equally including options to join in remotely using a virtual platform much like last year's. What were some of the other suggestions that the board received and were they feasible? So you have to realize and you know, as the months have passed and the situation has changed almost weekly, we consider many, many factors. Safety of everyone was and is of utmost importance. Some say that means cancel the conference, but we couldn't really do that and be responsible stewards of ARNOVA as an organization, as it would have meant canceling a contract and owing the hotel close to $200,000. If we required the vaccine, we'd need to be accountable to ensure that everyone was vaccinated. We really did not want to overpromise and underdeliver, since there's no way that we could guarantee that everyone would be vaccinated. We also knew that our conference won't be held in our own secure bubble while we, where we could ensure that no one who wasn't vaccinated would be around us. There are no guarantees. And we realize that this is something that many aren't comfortable with in this instance. That's why I've said in my communication, do what's best for your personal situation. Do what's best for you and your family and your personal network. Some of us will be in person. Lynette and her team had planned for a much smaller conference anyway, knowing that, for example, many of our international members would likely not be able to attend. We also know that many members who feel comfortable really do want to attend in person. ARNOVA is a community of scholars, practitioners, academics, and more. We look forward to connecting each year we already missed one year, and many didn't want to miss another year. Here, let's talk about the platform and all of the different ways people can join, especially if they're not comfortable or able to gather in person. As you know, we're looking forward to hosting our members in whatever format they choose. So we're gathering in person for those who choose to travel to Atlanta. But we also do have a variety of virtual sessions and content. As of right now, as I've been updated today by the staff, there are 63 fully in-person sessions, but there are also 66 virtual sessions and 51 hybrid sessions, where there's some presenters and attendees who will be joining from a conference room in Atlanta, as well as having others who will be online. That means we have over 100 sessions that you can participate in without traveling and gathering in person. And those sessions include paper sessions, colloquies, session meetings, and events. We're also encouraging all 
of our presenters to submit 10 minute recordings of their presentations, which will be available on demand for 90 days to view and interact with in the virtual platform. And that's something that was in place last year as well, if you remember. So no matter which format you choose to join us in, we are all a part of the same ARNOVA community. And we're working hard to ensure that all attendees feel included. And we do hope and pray that next year will be different and we'll be all able to safely come to the conference, see one another in person, and that will be in Raleigh, North Carolina. But this year, we've made the choice, which is a compromise of sorts, to figure out the best way to live in the midst of this uncertainty and to do the best that we can. I do look forward to seeing everyone and connecting in person with those who will be there with us in Atlanta. Again, if you have any specific questions, do reach out to Lynette Cook, who is our executive director, and she'll handle the questions or engage her team. And they have done a phenomenal job. Let me just add that. And don't forget, please join me in contributing to the 50 days, 50 gifts, 50 cents at a time or any denomination of 50, hopefully dollars. That's the campaign that is a part of our Nova's 50th anniversary celebration. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts and thank you for your leadership during this incredibly challenging and complex conference planning season. We appreciate you. And thank you to all of the Arnova, Arnova members viewing this. We hope to see you in Atlanta if that's right for you. If not, we hope you'll participate virtually. Either way, thank you for the great work you do every single day. And thank you for being a part of this association. And finally, thank you for the grace that you've shown to all of us on staff this year as we plan for yet another non-traditional Arnova conference. Be well. Thanks to the board and staff again. <laughs>